My name is Dr. Nick Owen and I'm an Associate Professor of Biomechanics at Swans University. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of an insight into what to expect if you come to Swans to study sports science. But first of all, not everybody is familiar with the term biomechanics, so we'll have a little look at what biomechanics is uh, and maybe a little bit about what I do within biomechanics before we get on to what to expect on our course. There are many definitions of biomechanics, but the one that I prefer is biomechanics is the effect of force on human performance. Now, human performance is, is normally thought of as athletic performance, uh, which indeed it is and can be, uh, and we have many examples of that. For example, an athlete training to improve their performance, to get a better speed at sprinting maybe, or to jump higher. But performance might also actually be whether an older person is physically capable of getting out of a chair. Or, at the other end of the age scale, whether a child has got poor coordination and might need some help in performance. Another surprising area that biomechanics can be involved in, and it is of particular interest to me, is heritage biomechanics. Heritage biomechanics is when we use the principles of biomechanics to help archaeologists and osteologists understand the past. For example, one of the areas that I'm involved in is helping the Mary Rose study the skeletons of some of the crew who drowned on it almost 500 years ago. Sports performance is a very important area of biomechanics and an area in which we are involved in greatly in Swansea. For example, we, we help to develop instruments to improve athletes' performance or improve the design of particular pieces of equipment, for example, uh, a sled for resisted sprinting. Coming back to your first year in Swansea University, you would start off by studying the first module in biomechanics, and as the name suggests, biomechanics is a combination of biology and mechanics, and therefore it applies the principles of mechanics to biological systems. To be able to use biomechanics in an applied sense, and that's what we're ultimately interested in, we need to lay the foundations in the first year of the principles of mechanics and biomechanics. In the first semester, you would start with me learning the principles of what we call linear motion. You would have 13 one-hour lectures, nine hours of labs, uh, and several hours of uh, workshops and support groups. Now, one of the questions that we're always asked is, what about maths? What if I haven't got a strong background in maths? Well, that's, that's pretty common. I mean, a lot of our students will not have A-level maths. Some of them will. Uh, but we provide support, we provide workshops and extra revision sessions to make sure everybody is up to scratch. Another question that often comes up is how is this module assessed? Well, the biomechanics module is assessed in a number of ways. We have 10% allocated to in-class tests. We have two of the three labs which are assessed and each of those labs is worth 10%. And then finally, the remaining 70%, we have an exam at the end of the module. Uh, I, hope, I hope this short video has been some help to you and has given you a little bit of an insight into what to expect in your first semester at Swansea University studying biomechanics. So, I hope to see you all in the new academic year. Please stay safe.